You don't get what you want in life, you get what you think you deserve. And if you think you deserve to be happy doing something you are obsessed with, to just be your identity every day and get paid for it, then you will. But if you don't think you deserve that, and if you don't think that that is your right, then that's never going to happen. And so it all starts up here. I went on my very first run when I was 14 years old. My older sister, she had sensed that I was struggling with self-esteem and body image. So one evening she asked if I wanted to go for a run with her and I thought to myself, sure, why not? We ended up back at my driveway and I was huffing and puffing and completely beet red, drenched in sweat. I discovered how amazing you can feel with exercise. That sweat, endorphins were so powerful and running really gave me strength and confidence and empowerment and completely healed my relationship with my body. And I knew my goal in life was to make everyone feel how I felt when I arrived back at my driveway. When I moved to New York, it was actually to study dance and theater and performing arts. And after some experiences I had with casting, I realized that there were certain aspects of the industry that just didn't sit right with me. At the time, I had already started personal training and I just felt amazing in this fitness world. Instead of waiting for someone to give me opportunities to do what I loved, why not just devote myself 100% paving my own way and creating my own life? I remember one night I was in my apartment and I thought to myself, I'm gonna create a program right now over my Thai food. And I started just writing out exercises and I started program developing. And I thought it would be so cool to put all my friends and clients through this type of high intensity interval training, cardio strength, total body workout. I remember just going down the rabbit hole that night. Then I went to bed and at 2 a.m. I sat up and I said, it's called Hit It. The very first workout I taught was in Central Park on October 1st of 2013. It was myself and six of my friends and I put them through this awesome workout and that was the entire kickstart of my Hit It journey. I thought in order for me to take Hit It to the level that I want to take it to, I needed to have gone to business school. And I told my business coach this, and she said to me, Daphne, that is a limiting belief. And my mind was just blown. The only person who limits me is, is me. And the second I let go of that limiting belief, I let go of that energy, I let go of that thought, um, everything completely took off. Knowing in my core that my why was ultimately to get as many people to feel happy and to get as many people to feel strong and to get as many people to feel empowered and to get as many people as I could possibly get to feel the benefits of endorphins. That was my why and that is what drove me. I still remember this review online so vividly. It ripped me apart emotionally because she was ripping apart my class publicly. What I realized in that instant was if I was creating something that I wanted to put out into the world, people were going to judge it. And I learned that, you know, I've come too far to let this break me. I've come too far to let one person make me feel like this is not the right thing to do. I trusted in my business and I trusted in my instructors and I trusted in what I was doing that this was still the right thing. This was not on the space. This was not on the reviewer. This was not on the instructor. I, as a business owner, I had to take extreme ownership of that situation. 
because I took ownership of it, I could actually control the situation. That actually empowered me. And there were other days like that too. Like there are days that just completely break you, but it a thousand percent makes you stronger. Oftentimes people are looking at the finish line, raising questions of how is this going to make X amount of dollars? And you really can't look at it that way. It's keeping you still locked into what you're currently doing. You just have to start. It's amazing how writing things down can help. I wasn't thinking that four years later, I'd be operating out of a beautiful studio space with five instructors working under me with a, a class that's packed. I was just thinking about, I had an idea and I just started writing. If you believe a thousand percent that this is what you are put here on this earth to do, I mean, success is really your only option. I don't feel the Sunday scaries. When I wake up in the morning on Monday, I am enthralled with what I have to do that week. For me, that is, that is the definition of, of success. My name is Daphne Yang, and I'm the creator of Hit It, New York's ultimate high-intensity interval training.